Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we have been working on getting buildings constructed and we're largely done with that. Not entirely, but very, very close to being done with that. We're also doing a little bit of wrap up work. So, I mean, we're integrating these guys, Iwahitin Khan. I imagine I butchered that pronunciation. That is probably very true. And the real thing that we wanted to do here was just get it started. It's going to take a very long time to get them integrated. This is fine. Our integration progress is not great but that's absolutely expected. So we're getting them started integrating. They'll be done eventually. I would like to attack Kilon. I would like to attack G, and we have forces on our way up to those locations. We're also currently actively working on making claims. So that is all fine. I wanna hop into our administration real quick here and make sure that all of these provinces are on automatic trading. They should be. Yes, that looks good. Fantastic. And now we're at 183 gold. So let's just hop into the macro builder real quick here, checking in on these constructions. Nothing to be done there as of right now. Okay. Let's go through our cities then while we're waiting. So we can definitely get ourselves a conscription camp. That sounds good. In Panay, we can get ourselves a library. That is, of course, wonderful. Out over here, a tax office. Hmm. Kilufan may become more ambitious but we're going to do it. The game is almost over. In theory, we won't have to deal with him for too long, but in reality, I would have chosen that anyway because his loyalty is actually kind of on the low side, so that is slightly problematic for us. So we're going to get this tax office going. We don't need one here. We can grab a zeal perk so we can patronize temples. For the moment, I'm not sure where we want to put that free provincial investment. We'll figure that out. For right now, let's grab a tax office, and then let's grab... Oh, we need additional gold. Okay. <laughs> we need a lot of tax offices, that's for sure, and we're going to get those going as soon as we can here. So, just waiting on this month tick, and that'll be fine. There we go. Let's get this tax office going. We're good here. We need one here, though. Cool. So, down over this way, we need a library. Each of these are reasonably expensive, so... We're going to have to wait on the month tick. That is, of course, very, very normal. Cool. There we go. And an additional library here, which actually slightly surprises me, but whatever. We can't build here because of loyalty. That is understood. What about up over here? We actually could build here, except we're lacking just a smidgen of loyalty. We'll have that pretty soon, but on this pass, no. We'll build a tax office here. In this city, definitely a tax office. We have a lot of constructions available. Okay. This is more constructions being available than I expected. So we need a number of tax offices up over here. So two there. We need one here. We'll have to wait for another month tick on that. I mean, all of this is good. We want to be able to build in these areas. Absolutely. So the timing is pretty decent on it, too. I'm not too concerned about that. Down over here, this is still heavily under construction, and it's going to take a while for that civilization value to rise. So that's fine. Nothing needing to be done here. In this city, we are absolutely interested in building a court of law. And this is also probably where I'm going to put our religious endowment. We need a lot of additional building slots here, so let's get this court of law put in here. That'll be absolutely fine. In this city, a tax office will go in, and that will work good enough. <laughs> That'll be fine for now. So we've got these two cities here. We definitely need a tax office here. We need the gold, which we've got now. There we go. In this city, we could certainly consider putting in tax offices. We currently have two, or rather a Freeman district and a citizen district here, which is odd. I'm going to get rid of this citizen district. Actually, we can't. It's disloyal. Okay, we have a CB on Kilon. I want to immediately declare this war. Okay. And we're just going to run directly at the only location that they have. So that'll be pretty straightforward. Now, I want to check in on this city here. So we're definitely in a situation here where we want to build a tax office. Not a library, a tax office. There we go. That'll be fine. 
up over in this city, another tax office will do. And then in this city, what do we want here? A library? No. Wait. Yes, this is a research city. Actually, we want an academy. So let's let this kick forward for a month. That'll be fine. And once that happens, ooh, province of Kampong losing 20 or 40 loyalty. I think we'll go this route. It's not good, though. We're not happy about it, but we'll do it. So we need to get this academy in, and we can do that now. So that's underway. This city, we're definitely going to want a tax office. And we're going to have to do another pass on all of these cities, of course, eventually. But for right now, this will do. Okay. So that is all of our cities, in theory, being worked on. Emphasis on in theory. And we do know that we're going to get another building slot down over here. Ten approval from Democrats and traditionalists. Do we care about that? Honestly, the oligarchs have almost all of the control right now. We'll accept it. We're losing a little bit of democratic support right now. And we might want to advocate legal reforms. Because these will continue to grow. And now the democratic approval will grow as well. Once those legal reforms actually happen. So this doesn't appear to have updated. Might have to wait for a month, Dick. That's okay. So we do require a title being assigned here. This guy will do. There are no scorned families. So that sounds good. How are we doing on G? We're actually about to get this declared. That looks good. Yes, 10, 10 approval from oligarchs. That'll be absolutely wonderful. So if we look at our actual Senate here, the Democrats are still at minus 0.2, and we did just advocate legal, legal reforms. I think that this hasn't updated. I think. Oh, no, it has. It, it's here now. Okay, so minus 0.02. So we've mostly gotten rid of that decay. Mostly. A little bit of tyranny. A little bit of corruption. But that's what we've got for now. Okay, so cults have been sanctioned down over here. And we should definitely take a look at that. That is here. And we definitely want to put in an academy. Can we get another cult sanctioning? No, because we don't have a free one. Okay, that's fine. So we want to declare on G at this point, and we're going to declare this war. Perfect. And we're going to head directly in. Is this their only location? No, this is, they have two locations. That's fine. We're going to easily win this. We in fact stack wiped them. So that is absolutely great. We have a character focus available. We're gonna take zeal and we're gonna go for patronizing temples again fairly soon. So that looks great for right now. We've got these two wars declared. Are we going to be fighting Sumpa? We'll see if we have time. It's 7 BCE at this moment. We're going to need to build some roads out here and up here, but that shouldn't take too long, in theory. Emphasis on in theory, though. We'll see what that ends up looking like. So let's go through our cities one more time over here. We know that most of these should be in a reasonable state, but we can certainly put in a tax office here. We can put in a tax office here. We had a Minister of Excellence, and we're going to take 10% national tax for that. Fantastic. And then we'll come down over this way. What do we got over here? A whole lot of nothing. And this is what we expect. This is what we want to see at this moment. Here, we could almost get this going, but it's going down in terms of loyalty, which is not phenomenal. And that's just holding for Okay. Cool. So... I was a little surprised that there were as many things to construct as there were last time. And this is definitely looking better. Oh, did I check down here? I'm not sure I did previously. Regardless, there's nothing to be done there. So that sounds absolutely fine. We'll just pop up over this direction. Nothing to be done over here. And then here. Yeah, we're lacking loyalty here. Cool. So this is looking very, very good at this point. Our cities are apparently in a pretty decent state right now. Yeah. So that looks fantastic. We see that there's some mercenaries out over here. Okay. Interesting. This war is pretty much over. 
So we'll let this auto cap. And there we go. We're now at 100%. So we'll sue for peace. We're going to take all their stuff and we're going to do that. Perfect. Next, I want to put these guys onto road build. And their goal is pretty much just to build roads out like this. And like that. That's pretty much all they need. So there's no city up here, right? It's just here in Ramat. Correct. At this point, I want to check in and see if there are any farming settlements we can build. There actually are. Why can't we build a farming settlement here? Requires a food producing trade good. Oh, yeah, that's woad. Okay. I was like, hang on a moment. But yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So there's one farming settlement to be built here. That's fine. So these guys are heading up here with mercenaries. I don't think they can defeat our legion. They don't think so either. So they're going to head southward. And actually, our vassal is heading up. If they catch them before they regen too much morale, they could probably win that. But for now, we're just interested in continuing to siege this. Yeah, I, I want to end this siege as soon as possible. So that looks good. We, of course, are sending a fair amount of forces around over here. Now, I am potentially interested in starting to fabricate out over here on Sumpa. Okay. They have quite a lot of states. I'm not sure that we can take all of that. I'm also interested in seeing... Yeah, Moria is not guaranteeing them. So that sounds pretty decent. I like it. Let's just wrap up this siege, and then are we going to fight these mercs and then head here? Probably. I think that's going to be the answer. Oh, we have some colonizable territories. We should absolutely do that. So we'll do that, and we cannot do the same here unless we move some pops in. So we're going to need to move, say, this guy in here, and that should allow us to colonize up over here. That looks good. And then here we've got four. We can probably move one, two, three and colonize here. Okay. Now, what about up here? I doubt we can colonize here, to be honest. Yeah, this is looking inauspicious. Let's check down over this way. This might be a possibility. So we've got a fair number of pops here right now. We can definitely pull in some of these guys. So that brings us up to 17. We need at least 50%. Yeah, we're going to have to pull some out of here at this point. So we're going to pull these from... Where are we? Here. One, two, three, four, five. How's that looking? Yes. We'll colonize Lai Wai. And can we colonize here as well? Yes, we can. So the only place we can't colonize here is Liao. Sounds good. What about down over here? Yeah, we don't have a lot of pops of the correct culture over this way. But we can at least get five of these colonization spots going. We're not able to get Liao, but we need to wait anyway. We're capping out our colonization. So that seems absolutely fine there. No problem. Let's just wrap up this siege. Hopefully it ends here. We would love to catch these guys up here. Nope, it did not. Sad. Well, even if they move back to here, that's still good for us. I would rather they be back defending their territory than attacking out over here. They're actually trying to attack us here. Okay, that'll happen in nine days. Ooh, we did not get that siege tick. That's sad. But we do easily defeat the Merc Force, so it's not a problem. They're going to be retreating. Excellent. C is now a conqueror. And we're going to see about wrapping up this siege. How are we doing on our road construction here? Well, it's going to take a little bit yet. No doubt about that one. Okay. So for now, we just need to finish up the siege eventually. We're rolling kind of poorly on it for right now, but I guess that's fine. We've got 831 gold. We can definitely do another pass on our city buildings if we really feel like we need it, but I'm going to wait on that. I think that we'll be better off to wait a little while. 
that said, I would like to come down specifically to this city and take a look here. Okay. So civilization level is going to give us quite a lot of additional... In fact, next month, we're probably going to get an additional building slot here. 0.07? It will. Okay. We just won the siege. But we also got this building slot. I want to get that academy going. And I also want to immediately head over here as quickly as we can. So that'll be fine. Getting this siege completed is, of course, a big deal for us. These roads are still underway. They'll get done eventually. And this guy will remain up in this Sumpin area up here. So that looks good. And we are going to finish up these colonizations soon enough. We do get a thousand manpower, not that we need it. But yeah, we finished up some of the colonization down here. Okay, this is just not updating as rapidly as I expected it to, I think. Yeah, this is actually correct, what I'm seeing here. So that's fine. For a second there, I was confused, but seems completely and totally okay. Okay, so we can call down an omen, and provincial loyalty is, of course, a good one. We are not super happy with our provincial loyalty situation in some of these locations, particularly here in, in Shushi. And I would like to switch this over probably to harsh treatment. That'll put it positive. That'll be fine. Anything else here? Yulin could be moved over to harsh treatment. I don't know that it really needs to be. I think it'll probably be fine given time. Chenla could be moved, although it's already on it. Okay. We've got Wuling here. And then this could definitely be switched over, but that's probably going to be fine as well. Yizhou here is okay, and Banar. This is probably similarly going to be fine. Okay. So that's okay for the time being. How are we doing on this siege? Well, they've decided to attack us, and it's going poorly for them. But it's not going tremendously well for us either. This is kind of a wash, to be honest. Okay. Well, we did ultimately win that, and we'll reinforce, but they managed to get past us. They're retreating this way. That could be potentially problematic for us, so we'll keep an eye on that. For now, I want to spend gold, so let's go through any of these that might be able to be gold spenders. We can also go through and build things like slave estates in basically every other location. Oh, we can build a mine, and we can also build a farming settlement. We should absolutely do that. But I guess for now, that'll be fine. I want to go through the rest of these cities one more time here. So a tax office is always good. And actually, we could do it this way and go into the city buildings and then do tax offices. But we would have to, like, know what the current... I guess we could see that there are currently tax offices here. No, this is a mount you can build. Okay. Yeah, I don't like doing it that way. I don't think the macro builder is helpful in that regard. Okay, so let's just go through here. 22, 22, 17. Yeah, 11 of 13. This needs to boost up. That's understood. And this is going to require a tax office. We'll get that going. Then we, of course, need this city up over here. Nothing to be done. Nothing to be done. Looking good in all of those locations. Looking good here. We need additional civilization value here. We can definitely build a tax office in Fanyu. That'll be wonderful. What else do we have going on here? Well, we've got this city here. We're lacking a little bit of provincial loyalty, but on the month tick, we'll have it, actually. So there we go. Tax office goes in. And nothing to be done here lacking provincial loyalty. That looks fine. Yeah. Uh, we need to come out to the city that is out over here, which is here. Okay. It's no longer the capital, which is mildly awkward, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. We're at 7% here. These guys are retreating back this way pretty substantially. We'll see what timing ends up looking like. Now, down here in Liao, I would like to get this colonized, and we need a neighboring province. We can do that, I think. Yeah, now we can. We simply move in three slaves here, and now we can colonize Liao. 
So that's perfect. This entire area is colonized. We would love to do some colonization down here, but we don't really have the pops in the regions for that right now. White piece is imminent. Okay. They are trying to siege this and failing. That's pretty funny, actually. We just won this siege, and we would like to just end this war. The auto cap might be enough to do it. Are we not auto capping? Interesting. It wasn't auto capping when they were here. Okay. We'll walk down there, but let's see if the auto cap gives us enough here. So we're going to cap this, but nope, they managed to arrive here. So no, we're going to have to actually fight them here. That's okay. We can do that. This guy died. We do need a martial researcher, and let's put in Shumeng here. But we do have a scorned family, so that is noted for the time being. And we're likely to win this with inferior troops. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, so we capped this. Let's win this battle. I'm surprised we're only at 66 war score here. Now, these guys have capped back up over here. Very rude of them, but whatever. This is the only place they can retreat to, I think. So let's walk up over there. And we do have our claim on Supa ready to go, but I'm not sure I want to declare it yet. How many pops do they have? 559? Okay. C died. Sure. That means that these guys need a new commander. And it should be from the Fawn family. So let's go into our military here and into our legions. We need to add a commander. This guy would actually do. He's only skill five, which is not the best in the world, but we can definitely put him in. So no more scorned family. That looks good. This will auto cap as soon as they retreat out of there. And we're working on reinforcing these lads. So we just need to deal with this at this point. Cool. So 68 war score. And it is currently 5 BCE. Okay. That seems reasonably fine. So we're going to fight these guys and cap this. That will end the war. Then we'll just need to build a road through here. To be honest, we don't even need one through Dalinga. So we can just build a road straight down like this and connect it in here. And that would be fine. Cool. And they don't have any cities up here, do they? They do not. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, the provincial loyalty is pretty good. I'm going to take it. So we're going to win this battle against their mercs. Easy enough. And now we're going to auto-cap. Or not auto-cap this. We're just going to regular cap it. Envy of Sumpa, huh? We could great gain a claim here. That's fine. We're planning on fighting Sumpa. So that sounds good. Okay, now we're at 100 war score, and we are going to take their territory. There we go. And we'll lose half a point of AE. That'll be absolutely fine. Now I want these guys to go on to road build and immediately just build a road straight down like this. Although I guess we can build one like that as well. That might be slightly faster when we're going this way to not go down through these multiple provinces. I'm not entirely sure on that one. We'll see. I don't think that we need this fort. I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to start upgrading this to a city. So let's get that going in, in Kunlun. That'll be fine. Next, I want to definitely get mining and farming settlements. Mm, okay. There are no mining and farming settlements to be built. That's fine. Are you done building? Yes, you are. Exit road build and head right on up over here. So I want to attack Sumpa. The question is, do we want to do it with only a single legion? They're a slightly larger war, but we maybe could wait until these guys finish up, but that is going to be a little while. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to fight Sumpa. We might go a little bit past the specified end date of, of the game here. Of, of what I said the end date would be. I want to finish up our war with Sumpa for sure. So we'll get that completed, probably queue up some roads, and then call it a game.
at that point would be the idea. So you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy McGar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.